Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel Data Driven Decision. In this channel, I talk about the data science and machine learning kind of stuff. If you're down for that, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make for data science. So today's topic is a very simple topic. It's just a tuple unpacking in function. Sometimes what happened is that in function you return different different uh, different different values. So how are you going to get that particular value using a single line of code? So that is the output of this function unpacking so now i have shown already the previous video how to create this function like in context finder or different things if you haven't seen it please uh, see the card above i have given it over there so let's get started so basically in this particular function it's just uh, going to create that uh, income tax out of the real income so it is going to provide you the income which you provide it and also what is the tax value out of it okay. so the default tax value i have given as a 15 in python so if I run this cell, you can see that I have run it. So if I run it, uh, if I execute the particular function, then it is going to give you the uh, two different outputs, like 2000, like uh, 2000 and three, three, uh, sorry, 20,000 and 3000 basically. So 20,000 is the, your income and this is the tax value. So how you're going to get that output as a variable? Right? You want to save it something, right? If you return something you have to save it some in some variable so for that how can you do that you can just use like this like you can see that over here i have given the income then comma then tax then given that particular execution of the function so what happened is that in this situation it is going to save both 20000 and 3000 inside of income and tax in this way it is going to work so if i run this cell if you want to see the tax out of it, what is what is the tax value? So you can just co call the tax. It is going to give you the uh, like three thousand as a tax. And if you want to see the income, you can see that. Okay, so you can just run this cell. It is going to give you the income. So in this way, you you are able to get the output of two. Uh, if you returning a uh, lot of different different things, you can just output like this. Instead of two returns, you can use multiple returns, three, four, five, six, ten returns. But in that case, you have to use it like this. Like instead of two, you have to use the ten variables, like using the commas, and you are going to get the outputs out of it. So, so the same thing is I'm, I'm going to show the same. Uh, so you in the Julia also, so that it will be easier for you. So the same structure in Julia also. Same. Okay. So over here, I've given it like this. If I need to this cell. Okay, so I've given the 15 as a percentage. By the way, in Julia, you cannot write it like this. So just to, for a reference, I'm showing that. So if you write it, if I write it, it is going to be like this. So I'm going to save those two outputs 20,000, 3,000. So I'm going to show the output of income that's 20,000. And the tax would be the same 3,000. Okay, so uh, I hope you like the video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and see different kind of videos I make. I'll see you soon. Thank you.